Spice season is upon us as the dawn of autumn brings with it lattes, cider, and pies, all things that might have a little cinnamon sprinkled in. But consumer reports reveal a concerning amount of toxic metal in as much as a third of cinnamon powders purchased in Northeast grocery stores. Joining us with more information is Jan Carney, Associate Dean for Public Health and Health Policy at the Larner College of Medicine. Jan, how much of a concern is this? I think that we are very concerned about lead in all sources, but we have to put this in perspective. So as an example, in the United States, that public health and, and other officials have been reducing sources of lead for many years now. For example, we don't have lead in gasoline. It's been banned in house paint since the 70s. And there's been a lot of careful attention in across the nation, and particularly in Vermont, to prevent lead poisoning, particularly in young children. I think it's it's a great idea just to take a look at the cinnamon in your spice cabinet. A lot of us have a lot of old spices on our, in our cabinets and see if it is indeed one of the, the types that has a high level. And if it is, discard it and, and make a choice to get one of the ones that has as, as um, the lowest, lowest amount of, of lead in that. What is an acceptable level? There, there really is, there's really no acceptable level, for example, when you measure that in a child's blood. So really the goal is to prevent our consumption of uh, water containing lead, uh, lead ingestion from old paint in houses, uh, or in foods containing high amounts of lead. The state of New York has used one part per million. The European Union has suggested two parts per million in food, but we really don't have a national level as yet. And some people are talking about, wouldn't it make sense to test some of the food products that people commonly consume and then we know could contain lead, test them after they're manufactured and before they're made available to the public. Right, and you mentioned New York earlier. Right now, New York is the only state that regulates heavy metal levels in spices. Is this something that Vermont should be looking into? Well, those are those are things that other states are talking about also, but I think really that that given that where the products come from, for example, that many of these are imported, and there's a variety of different um, food products that have been found um, to potentially contain lead, we should be talking about this on a national level. Some good and helpful information there. Jan Carney, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure.